year ago. Nice driving, I'm impressed, mate. I lost a tremendous... Fuck! Me! And that's the thing, because there are some new houses that can around for five or six hundred thousand. And I don't know if get one of the Yeah, that's crazy. Well, restrictive as we reopen to to just throttle that risk as the virus maybe comes in. That's one way of going so that you don't get rapid growth in cases. Go and get yourself a PCR test. It transpired last weekend that one of the labs that deals with processing these PCR tests uh, had an estimated 43,000 incorrect negative tests. Um, what the fuck is wrong with you? Can I ask Fucking you idiot. what appears to have happened? What do we know? Um, mate, last I heard, that's a red light. That means stop! increase government spending and say they worry lawmakers will fail to come to an agreement. Several recent polls have bolstered, bolstered by interviews with more than 50 Democratic voters across six swing states in recent weeks indicate broad party support for legislation to expand. Wow, really? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, um, and that's fire. You couldn't see me coming. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Our shitbag titty fuck of the week goes to the one and only I'm a wicked, 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 I'm a wicked. You're a yum, or you're a wanker, take your fucking choice. So who is your favorite genius, James Hurd or James Joyce? You ever seen a lot? Yeah. 
Oh. Idiot! Fucking hell! What the? Another one? Are you kidding me? Two and one? Are you serious? Fuck, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be. Differently, bro. Yeah, Rebecca and Brandon pulled up okay. I pulled up okay. Yeah. Brianna, up on we had her today, so we're hoping that she's alright. Oh, she's alright for me. What happened there? Someone fucking. So right. went through a red light. Um. Hey, go, Scotty. Another one, Scotty's dash cam. But I'm betting they're a group of native Ruhar who are not happy with the situation on this planet, and they can't trust their own government or military to take the appropriate action, so they're trusting us. What they want us to do is get rid of that Kristang battle group in orbit. She pointed to the sky. So what they want matches what is best for us. That's the only reason I agreed to take on this mission. That plus I don't see any other possibility of humans surviving on this planet long term. If the Kristang take over this planet permanently, none of us will live very long. I think you all know that. I do, ma'am, Shauna said. But tell me, please. You got a mysterious email. That's what all this is about? Could it be a prank? Yeah, Jesse added. Or disinformation. You wouldn't tell time to do that kind of stuff. This could be the Mustang trying to get so they have an excuse to squash us like bugs. That would be just like the lizards, Dave observed. No, Perkins shook her head. The message contained intel I didn't know. When I contacted the U.S. intel chief, he denied it. He denied it in a way that was way too quick, you understand? UNFHQ had this info. They know about it. And they haven't told us. Whoever our mysterious benefactor is, they know. They know what? What is it they know? Shauna was the first to ask. So Perkins told them. Told them how the Ruhar federal government had been negotiating to trade paradise to the Kristang in exchange for more valuable territory. How the Ruhar fleet had never intended to recapture the planet in the first place. How that was why there had not been giant transport ships bringing evacuated Ruhar back to their home. Why the local Ruhar administration had not put more than token effort into rebuilding infrastructure. Holy shit, Dave said quietly. Those motherfuckers. The Ruhar are selling us out. Yes, Perkins agreed flatly. There was talk going around six to eight months ago of UNEF declaring loyalty to the Ruhar. She could see everyone's eyes grow wide with surprise. HQ thought that might give the Ruhar more incentive to protect us from the Kristang raids that were burning out our crops. Then suddenly, that talk stopped, and we were told by HQ not to mention it again. Now I know why. HQ must have talked to the Ruhar, and the hamsters told us no. 
They didn't want our loyalty because then they'd be responsible for us, and they planned to leave us behind when they trade this planet away. Shit, Jesse said, stunned. I'm not dumb enough to think the Ruhar would ever be our buddies, but I didn't think they would screw us like this. We don't have any friends out here, people. Permits to class like this. We don't have any friends out here, people. Permits declared. We're on our own. Truly on our own. Because the Kristang have lost contact with Earth. The Ruhar confirmed that to me. The only reason I agreed to work with Envy on this mission is that our goals match in this case. We both want those Kristang ships out of orbit. Ma'am, in the long run, that do for us? Shauna asked. The Ruhar still plan to sell the planet out from under us? Yeah, that's why I asked Envy the same question. And that's why I think our mysterious benefactor is a group of native Ruhar. Because what Envy told me is that once that Kristang battle group isn't hanging over our heads, there is at least a possibility the federal Ruhar government could somehow be persuaded to keep paradise. With the Kristang having the big guns in orbit. Awesome. 